Thank you for clicking on this video. Right below this video, you can click like, share, subscribe. If you want to make a financial contribution to what's happening on this channel, or if you want to become a monthly financial contributor, you can scroll down to the comment section, click on my Patreon page and follow the, follow the instructions there, or you can reach out to me through my email address. Patreon supporters, thank you, thank you, thank you. You hold me up in so many encouraging ways, and I pray for you by name more than once a day, because I know who you are. Um, I'm, I'm talking to other people that I probably have never met. Um, I pray for all of you, even though I don't know your names. Luke's Gospel, chapter 8, verses 1 through 3. Jesus preached from city to city, village to village, carrying the good news of the kingdom of God. He was accompanied by a group called the Twelve, those would be the disciples, and also by a larger group, including some women who had been rescued from evil spirits and healed of diseases. There was Mary called Magdalene who had been released from seven demons. There were others like Susanna and Joanna who was married to Chusa, a steward of King Herod. And there were many others too. These women played an important role in Jesus's ministry, using their wealth to provide for him and his other companions. I want to emphasize in this passage uh, something that, that to me is extremely significant. In an ancient patriarchal world, decidedly and extremely tilted in favor of males, Jesus considered females to be equal. He did. There are other passages that support this. The, the 12 disciples were all male, but, but there were other followers of Christ, including these women who played an important role in Jesus' ministry. Jesus revolutionized the place of women and the role of women. But I want to talk about the word had. He was also accompanied by a larger group, including some women who had been rescued from evil spirits and healed of diseases. There was Mary called Magdalene who had been released from seven demons. As you know, Carla and I are um, sprinting through the Gospels at a rate of one chapter a week. And um, last week, she and I were talking through Mark's Gospel, chapter 14. And I, I my last talk video was based on Mark 14. Um, Simon appears in Mark 14. Simon, who had been a leper previously. Here's my question. What are the hads in your past that you cannot explain apart from the intervention of God? I'll ask that again. What are the hads in your past that you cannot explain apart from the intervention of God. I believe it is essential to the Christ following life that we stay close as possible to our deliverances, our healings, our answered prayers. It is imperative for Christ followers to keep track of God's faithful track record in our lives. From what or from whom have you been set free?
liberated, delivered? In what ways has God healed you? What prayers have been answered in a way that you know deep down could have only been God? What are the hads in your past that you cannot explain apart from the intervention of God? I invite you to just sit with that, consider that, and maybe start writing down or recording on your phone all of the deliverances, healings, answered prayers in your life. I guarantee that if we stay close to our hads by virtue of God's presence, it's a difference maker. It is a difference maker. Grace and peace.